is this? A new fraternity calling themselves Omega Sci-Fi has placed them all over the campus. I thought we had agreed against a new fraternity. After all, don't we already have a fraternity? My thoughts, exactly. At no time during the last college generation has such a degree of college and class enthusiasm manifested itself, as is evidenced by this action. My office has received a constitution for consideration, but it requires much reflection. Do you want me to have the placards removed? No. A lesson must be learned in this. If we are to train men for leadership, if we are to equip men for largest service, then we must give to them largest opportunities for the development of their entire nature. For it is God who delivers and makes a way. We must believe that the God who is above us desires nothing but our best. And when he finds a man who will bring about his glory. He blesses that man greatly. Thank you, Reverend Waldron. You cannot have education without morals, and moral life is grounded in religion. All genuine education shall therefore be ethical. You must apply these principles and ideals to the leadership of a race. A great danger of the race is the decay of reverence. If you cannot place yourself above yourself and then revere yourself, then how mean a thing is man? Nothing is more clearly stated than that God holds the vendor, the tempter, responsible for the ruin which he works. So far as we are called upon to lift up our testimony against it and have failed to do so, so far we must certainly go in our works of repentance. The Lord our God is one Lord. His law is one law. And if we are his sincere children, breaches of this law ought to be just as distressing to us in one department of life as in another. When God gave us the power of discerning between good and evil, he gave it to us chiefly for our own sakes, to preserve us from falling into temptation and not to qualify us to sit in judgment upon others. An unfortunate situation has arisen at Howard. A group of youth who may see themselves as pioneers, but have failed for the moment to be standard bearers of truth, has announced themselves underneath every green tree, bulletin board, and other conspicuous place. While many of you may see this as good, it is in fact the opposite. As of this day, Howard does not recognize any group, no such organization as the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity. Looming over Dr. Thurkill's speech will not aid us. We need to consider our next steps. If it's any consolation, I believe we have support of the student body. However, the faculty is another matter. Professor just stated that he's already discussed our case with the other deans and faculty. I believe we must prove that Omega is a true asset to the university. Valid point, but we may have to do more. I've sent a petition that we be allowed to speak with him directly. Do you think he'll take such a meeting? He's a godly man. If he truly believes that we are lost sheep, he will gladly take the chance to draw us back into the flock. I must be quick. I shouldn't be here. We thank you for taking the chance. Dr. Thurkill and the university council are having a meeting right now. They're deciding upon the fate of the fraternity. Did Dr. Thurkill consider our petition in constitution? We've made several amendments to accommodate the faculty's desires. I know he has them, but from what I've heard from Dean Moore, it's not enough. Fraternities are known to be subversive of good morals. They fear in sportsmanlike conduct. Omega is different. I shudder the day when any Negro has the spare time for mischief. Our focus should be on uplift. Frank, I understand, but we're youth. The faculty wonders if it's too dangerous to operate along national lines. For what it's worth, Dr. Thurkill said he's willing to speak to all of you tomorrow. If we don't find a way to change Dr. Thurkill's mind, 
we may very well have dug the grave for Omega. Your timing is less than ideal. Timing? Yes, Dr. Thurkill is on his way to an important meeting. He's unable to speak with you today. He said he'll make time in a few weeks to hear your petition. Excuse my tone, but we've waited patiently for this meeting. I'm sorry, he has a monstrous schedule. I hope your organization obtains its recognition. I'm off to grab lunch. Well, on the bright side, we have more time to prepare our argument. No, 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 no. Omega will not die in the midst of reworked schedules and misplaced politics. Someone's knocking. Roberta, Roberta, the door. I told her no visitors today. Who is that? Who is that knocking? Who is that knock, knock, knocking? Who is that knocking at my door?